we've recently finished a 5,000 mile road trip and went across Nevada and it was really windy. It was probably, I'm going to say 50 miles an hour, 40, 50 miles an hour, and then Kansas, Oklahoma. We're driving along, I saw right in this area, this skirting just flipping up. The wind caught it and some screws came loose off the brackets. So in the field, what I had to do, I had some duct tape and I just taped it down from the slide out to the uh, the other skirt there. And then until I got to a hardware store and I got some stuff to fix it um, temporarily till I got home. So I'll take in here and show you. I have the slide out pulled away so you can see under here. But this was flapping over, way over. And what happened was the screw came out here. It was here. This here was just flapping hard. And it pulled away from here. The screw was the came from the factory pretty much loose. So I upsized the screw here and just painted it. Uh, tan to match. So I got along here. It's kind of cracked the caulking and so what I got is a The sealant non sag. It's beige. I've used it before and it, it matches up pretty good I should probably use a tan, but this will work and then So I went around all underneath the trailer looking for loose screws and while I was under there, I found a tire that I'd hit and um, had to drive over. It was hanging up under the skirting. And here it is right here. Piece of tire. Drove all the way, probably, I don't know, 4,000 miles with that under my skirting. And I didn't even see it. So I'm going to go up under here and show you what I did. So up under here, what I did was I used a uh, fender washer with a screw, a machine screw, and on the top I have a, a lock nut, and that holds in place. Some of them actually came loose here, so I doubled up screws on it, and that seemed to help. So I went around the whole trailer on the bottoms. I did this with the fender washer and then I doubled up screws like up in there in the other spot. I doubled them up. Then in the middle here, there was no support right here. And so when I made this uh, rack with just sheet metal and took the bolt off and drilled this plate and took the bolt off put the plate in and then I did the same thing see the jam nut there and then the fender washer so that should help solve my problem um, I hope this was my mainly it was this front area and where the slide out is was the main problem with the um, it pulling off the other side's got loose. A few screws came out. Um, so it's good to get under and check them. And keep them tight. But they seem to be stripped. So what I did on the screw. Let me go back out here. So this screw here. That I put in that I sized up. I just put some grill glue on it. On the threads and screwed it in. It's really tight now. Um, but you can see here, I don't know if you can see, from it pulling, it kind of took this here and uh, pulled it. So I got to recock all this along here and then along this area here. So I hope this helps people. Uh, another thing that happened to find out here on the trip. I found this when I was hooking up the sewer to dump at a dump station. I saw this thing all loose. So up here, 
all they have is a self-tapping screw and it's loose. I tried to tighten it but it's stripped. So I'm just going to put a bolt in place there uh, with a lock nut and a, lock, a jam nut, lock nut, washer, quarter inch bolt. I'm going to drill it out and put that in. Let me go back here so I can show you what screws I used. So here's the fender washer I used, the lock nut, and the screw. And here, is I got those at Home Depot. And here's the uh, machine screw, the nuts, and then the fender washers that I got. And then the strap metal I used, I just had some around that I bent for that bracket. So that's it. I hope it helps everybody. Uh, make sure you take a look under your trailer and keep a watch in your mirrors for uh, what's going on behind you. Here's the screws that they use to hold um, under here in place where these are. They just work their way out, so I recommend changing them out. And I just did it on the bottoms, not on the sides. Because they seem to be in place pretty good, and they have a caulking under them so they don't move around. So feel free to subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more. And hit the little bell there icon, and you'll receive future messages. And then if you want to see other uh, videos I put out, just hit your, uh, click on my name and it'll pull up the videos. I have around 35 or so videos. I appreciate you watching and take care and happy camping everybody.